All right, y'all, what's going on? Welcome back to the Just Absolutely Boxing Podcast, episode 66. I'm Combo Breaker 99. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Boxing P. And we're back in the house with one of our favorite guests. Uh, last week, he just improved to 9 0. Next month, he's looking to improve to 10 0. Yeah. And we're going to get on a, we gonna get into all of that, all this conversation. We're going to talk about last week's fight and this week's fight, talking about Dangerous Donnie Marshall. Man, welcome back, bro. Thanks, yes, so. man. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate right. y'all having me on. Been, oh, yeah. been a little minute yeah, since the last yeah. time we got you on. Yeah, man. We happy to have yeah. you back on, man. So, yeah, sure. yeah, that make it for good conversation, right? right, right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, man, congratulations on uh, pulling out your win. Uh, first round TKO last Thursday. Yes, right. <laughs> yeah, you know, a WW at this point. But, uh, yeah, yeah, let's kind of look back on that for you yeah, yeah. as a fighter who comes yeah. to fight. You know, your, your previous fight before that, you told me the shoulder injury, but you still, you know, pulled it through. How, how does that feel for you to come into a fight and somebody else, you know, they pulls out like that and um, you get the win in that way? It just, it aggravated me because I, I just felt like I wanted – to go like I started slow as hell you know what I mean because I yeah. knew you know I wanted to be in there for a while you know mm-hmm. what I mean I was planned on getting him out of there but yeah but I just, I just felt I needed more rounds going into this to this next fight you know what I mean for sure you know I didn't announce it until after the fight but you know we we knew a few weeks ahead of time that we was going into this fight so I was just looking to get some work man I was looking to be in there for three four rounds you know what I mean but um he was a last minute guy mm-hmm. you know what I mean um we went through um, me, Christy Martin, and her, um, her wife Lisa, and my coach Ross. Um, we went through man, literally probably fifteen opponents, man, for my last fight, mm. bro. Wow. Mm. You know, um, turn downs. Um, we even we got um, a six and two guy out of uh, Chicago, um, a nice solid boxer to actually sign the contract. And mm. We even went as far as making posters and everything. Me and my. Yeah. Um, me and um, my trainer that I deal with here in Riley, we in the gym game planning for him, you know, for five, six days. And I was getting up for him. You know, he's a solid guy, six and two, never been stopped. And then this motherfucker pull out, you know, excuse my language, but dude pull out. Um, I think like a week out he pulled out, you know what I mean? So stuff like that for me, like that was deflating, yeah. you know what I mean? Like I went, I probably didn't go to the gym for like two days after that, you know what I mean? Cause it was just like, God, you know, I put yeah. all my energy in you. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I already, like I said, we had already been through, you know, 12, 13 opponents at that time. So it was just up and down, up and down. Right. I think I got a fight. It even got to the point, you know, behind the scenes, I'm like, Raw, you know, I'm asking Raw, I'm like, hey, are we going to fight? You right. know what I mean? Right. Like, what's right. going on? Right. That's kind of mm-hmm. what I wanted to bring up. Like, you know, some of the behind the scenes stuff yeah. that a fighter goes through to get a fight. Right. It's not exactly. easy, you know. No, it's it's hard for a fighter to stay active with, I guess, quality opponents. Right, you know right, right. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand that. They don't understand, they don't understand see that, that side that. of, yeah, of the game. Yeah. So, like that. Um, you, you know, my I, I feel I've been moved along kind of perfectly. Like if you look at my box rec and you look at other guys' box rec, I see even world champions. You know, I've looked at you know and um, like Lara, um, not Lara. Um, what's the guy that just beat like, her? Herb, like yeah. her, I glanced at his box rec before, and now just how easy he was moved. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. F- further along. You know what I mean? Like. And I, I'm not being moved the toughest, but I'm. I think I'm for my amateur career. I think I'm being moved literally perfectly. You gotcha. know what I mean? Gotcha. You know, my I went from beating a debut guy on my debut to a 0 and one ish type guy. You know what I mean? Then we went and got veterans. I fought a undefeated fighter. Mm-hmm. I was three and zero. He was one and zero. Solid guy. Right. You know what I mean? That was a real fight. Right. You know, first time going the distance. Um, and then we went to Marcus Primavera, who's a real veteran. You know what I mean? Then we went to 50-50 oh, yeah. guys. You know what yeah. I mean? I had two 50-50 guys, which was perfect. But then from there, it was time. Okay, now we just go to winning records. You know what I mean? So that's mm-hmm. what this fight was supposed to be a guy with a solid winning record. You know what I mean? And we tried. My promoter tried. Um, shout out to Christy Martin. I love Christy to death. She, you know, she do and did everything mm-hmm. she possibly could to give me a good, solid fight. But nobody in her reach and, you know, fires the money, you know, mm-hmm. she wanted to step out. You know, so I ended up fighting the guy. Who couldn't hold up you know what i mean so let me ask you another question real quick like um how how does that affect the fighter like when you've been you know i i made the 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 the, the uh analogy to sex if you don't climax mm-hmm. you, you got a balls. problem you know what i'm saying yeah, that's so, for real. I so about that shit. i'm that's just saying real. like how yeah. does that yeah, yeah. That's play kinda, with a fighter you get yeah, that's, up and don't get the release yeah that's that's you know? a, that's a 
great analogy. I didn't, didn't think about that because that's kind of yeah. how it was. Like, damn, I had a fine ass girl come over here. She hopped on and then left. Yeah. So fuck. You had everything. What are you doing? You know what I mean? You had so everything like, prepared. How do you do the kid? What do you What do you do? You know, in those situations. Oh, yeah. I mean, how do you decompress? <laughs> my, my thing, honestly, like I'm so I'm probably one of the most fan for like in my brain fan friendly fighters you know what i mean like i'm such a smart fighter but a lot of times i engage just for y'all you know what i mean because yeah. i'm very conscious yeah. of why people come to see me people aren't right. coming to see me because they like me they come to see me because i'm an entertainer absolutely fighter. right you know what absolutely. i mean absolutely so me not being able to entertain the way i wanted to in the last fight coming into this fight i felt i owed y'all i fought with one arm mm-hmm. going to the last fight you mm-hmm. know what i mean so i wanted to come in with two arms and replace that by yeah Fucking knocking dude to fuck right, out, right, right, <laughs> breaking right, dude down. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. Going to back to the body and looking dangerous again. You right. know what I mean? And that kind of showed in even your past performance, because like I see it's 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 a it's a, it, it's about fighting for you too, right? It's not mm-hmm. just the W, because some people just say, mm-hmm. oh, he just wants to get the W anyway. Mm-hmm. But like yeah, I don't know how to I do saw that. it on your face when you left yeah. Thursday night. Yeah, that not, right. this ain't it's this not about don't just the W, right. and it's not just about the money either. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. That's how I know, like even signing up for this fight. Like the pay ain't much, you know. Showbox don't pay too much, but it's definitely my biggest check yet. Yeah, right. But I'm not. It's not about. I don't care about the money. Yeah, at this point you, know you still mean? want to go in there and make that yeah. statement. And um, yeah. another question it's I have just for about you, respect, like, really, kind of. How do you feel like? How does it make you feel as a fighter? Like when you said you had 15 opponents turn you down, like it's tough because a lot of people think. Oh, it's easy to stay active. Oh, we can yeah. fight. So, oh, you, right. you can fight anybody. It's tough because I don't know what to prepare for, who to prepare for. Yeah. I don't know what weight the fight going to mm-hmm. be at. You know what I mean? It's tough. So it's just ups and downs fighters go through. And I've seen a lot of fighters crack in that process. You know what I mean? Because mentally, that mentally, shit weighs yeah. on you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mentally, mentally it's weighs on because you don't know what to prepare for. You know what I mean? But, um... I'm um, like like James Tony, my favorite fighter, said, like, I'm the ultimate fighter. And I really feel that, like, I, fi- I can fight in any any um, situation. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Inside, outside, fast, slow. You want to box, you want to bang, mm-hmm. like a counter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I kind of, and I don't watch film too much either. So I'm kind of always going, like, the dude who I fought, I didn't know what he looked like. Never seen him throw a blow. Wow. Didn't watch half wow. or nothing. So that's why a lot of times in the first half of the round, first yeah. round, for, yeah, I'm just watching. Hey, I'm that, that's my film study. You know right. what I mean? So he thought he got. I sent he sent the message to Christy Martin. Like I don't know why he thought he won the first round, right? And when I watched the when I watched the film, like I'm like you, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. Whatever, whatever. But some guys think, you know, coming like I'm just watching, you know, right. even like with Sim, I know he's going to come out fast for a round and a half or two. I'm going to watch you. I'm going right. to use my jab and try to pick you apart. But I'm just watching because th- those same things that you're doing around two, you're going to continue to do. And I'm going to start, you know, making you pay for that shit. You know what I mean? So what 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 what, did, what happened to do? Because I thought I seen him grab his leg. Then Ant said he saw it, thought it was thought his it was wrist, wrist. And then you said mm-hmm. it was his shoulder. It was his shoulder. Yeah, mm-hmm. he, um. I don't know if he was truly hurt, but what what I thought at the time, what I would say is he screamed in my ear. I heard him yell at the time of impact. Mm. But things like I didn't. This is the first fight I kind of realized how fast things happened in there because I truly thought that he threw a hook and I blocked it. And he said, ah, at the same time, I blocked his shot. Mm-hmm. But as we watched the film, I had my film guy here. That even, he, um, he stayed the night with me a few days because he flew in from Phoenix. My guy, Spencer, or okay, whatever, that, cool. did, um, that article on me the other day. So, you know, I had to film here. He's slowing it up and, you know, my whole family watching it. What happened was I threw a two, three, bim, bim, and the three landed right on his shoulder. Ooh. And then you can hear it, you know, <laughs> if you rewatch that, the video, you can hear the impact. And right away he went, ah. And uh, yeah. So even me being in there, I didn't even know what happened. Yeah. I thought I blocked the shot when yeah. the reality I, I threw a hook at him. Just a quick uh-huh. bing, bing, uh-huh. two, three. Uh-huh. And that three hit his shoulder, and you know what I mean? Yeah. I like those trunks in the, in the boots too, man. They yeah, yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, that that roll blue was shot. Yeah, yeah. That came together perfectly. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. nice. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock that again on Showtime. It was too yeah, nice. Yeah, that was, that was shot that right there. Represent, <laughs> represent <laughs> Buffalo. I got to run that one yeah. back. That was yeah, nice. That was yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Who, who, make, who, who does? That's my homeboy, uh, Aaron. Aaron um, Aaron Harrison that um, does all Michael Williams Jr. stuff. Oh, he does Michael Williams too. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, he be doing his thing. Yeah, he's got skill. Yeah, nice, man. He's nice. He's a black-owned company. He's right out of Ohio. Okay. Got him, you know. You gotta plug him, man. Yeah, yeah. you plug him, man. Yeah, it, was, it, was, it was dope. It was dope. You know, even he, um, I had a mix up. I had not a mix up, but I had sent him my logos and the, the way I wanted my logo. But when he sent it back, he had did something even better. And I'm like, oh shit, but he had already put them together. 
but I had space on the back missing. I'm like, God damn it, I missed the chance to put yeah. my logo on it. And he's like, oh, don't worry about that. You know what I mean? He, you know, went back into the production and, you know, put my Tighten logo on there and tightened it up for me. So he's dope. He's super dope. Yeah, what's his, give him a shout out, Donnie. Just so people know. What's yeah, it? yeah, that's my man, Aaron Henderson. Um, Aaron, Aaron Harrison. You know, if y'all get a chance, man, uh, he's... Uh, the body kit Aaron Harrison on um, Facebook and the body kit on um, Instagram man so y'all hit him up man he got good price stuff and um, if you want to look fly in the ring man, that's the man to go to right now you know? for sure All right, cool he got Instagram I'll put it on the description for this episode that's yes, cool sir. man but I'm uh, moving forward man um, moving forward to next month uh, go ahead and I'll break down that good news to us man what's coming next uh, so uh, yeah yeah we um Side to fight, uh, I don't know if it's Sim or Kim, I've heard both names, but um, C E M, Sim, kill it, um, out of Turkey, training out of um, California. So, we just signed to fight him at 160 um, on Showbox, September 28th, Friday night, September 28th at 10 p.m. So, yeah, it's the first TV fight. Wait, where's it's gonna be at the guy rolling the mini? Um, it's outside of San Diego, okay, in, in California. So, I'm going to his backyard, I'm going okay. to his way, I'm going to his backyard, and um. It's at the Pachanga, Pachanga Casino, casino. Resort. Okay, yeah, casino. Okay. Yeah, right outside of San Diego. Yeah, man, we're going to do it in front of the cameras, man. You sounds, know what I mean? I'm coming from 54 up to 60. He coming down from 68 down to 60, okay. you know. So it's the classic matchup, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Strong Battle. strong versus speed, you yeah. know what mm -hmm. I mean? Boxer versus brawler, you know what I mean? We, we, see. we seen the, um, the article you posted. You want to talk a little bit about that? I mean, how, I mean, how you feeling about? Yeah, yeah, that got me up. I need, yeah, I need yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about it a little yeah, bit, man, because the fans brought, might not know. Yeah, you that know? kind of brought brought it down to reality. To me, sometimes, like I, I don't really know how to explain it, but fights are like in the clouds to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like it's just a thought. It's just you know what can happen. What you know what I mean? It's right. just not fully real. You know what I mean? Until you know, I maybe see my opponent in person, or you know, like. So seeing him talk about being victorious and talking about leaving it all in the ring and yeah. stuff like that, he made it, for whatever reason, he made it physical for me. He gotcha. came to mm -hmm. a little bit earlier than it normally do, mm -hmm. which is trouble for him, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's certain things that um, we got planned for this camp, you know, that I normally don't do until, you know, just being honest, two weeks out and stuff like that. So, man, you know, we, we doing that the whole camp, you know, so this, you know, dude, do them for you know what I mean and I'm more than sure that he training hard too because he got you know he need this to propel his career also absolutely you know what I mean? so, absolutely you know but are you um doing anything special in preparation for the guy yeah. I know you said you haven't seen a lot of tape you've seen some yeah I watched enough I watched okay. enough but you know on this level I'm watching a little bit you know okay. what I mean but just enough to know who he is I'm not really watching like that I haven't watched no full fight and gotcha. like, like one mm -hmm. of my guys was like oh you know, there's between rounds, he's getting tired. I'm like, no, I'm not watching that close. You right. know what I mean? I'm just right. watching for tendencies and, and just really just his style. Who are you? Hey, style, right? Yeah. Like, you know, just real, real quickly. Like, I like to, I watch maybe like the first round of one fight. I'll go to another fight, maybe right. just get to the third round, watch mm -hmm. a little bit of that round. Man, just, just, just to kind of get a little taste yeah. of how yeah. he is in yeah. the beginning. Yeah. Some fighters feel like watching tape is not really no, that valuable because it's, 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 it's that's not you in the ring with it's the guy. Not, you don't know right. what's going to happen exactly. in the ring like I'm watching with that guy. Beat up, beat up, you know, one of the reasons why I honestly took the fight because I watched him with a dead man in the ring. And I was like, come on, man. Yeah. Like, you know yeah. what I would have did to this dude? Mm -hmm. I'd have had the crowd like, man, get that man out of there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Save yeah. him. Guy just shelling up tall, lanky guy, no bending his knees. Mm -hmm. And to me, you having trouble getting, yeah, you got him out of there eventually, more so from just wearing him down, just throwing shit. This open spots I see he not hitting like he just throwing the same punch over and over again satisfied with the guy a lot the of energy. and it's like yo I'm, I feel you know besides Caleb Plant that I'm one of the best fighters um, defensive fighters around you know what I mean right. and I love him that's my boy but mm -hmm. I'm coming for his title too so <laughs> you know, that defensive fighter you know what I mean I yeah. want to be the best defensive fighter yeah. in the game you know but I I know for a fact that I can't start talking like that you know until I start getting wins like this yeah. you know what I mean mm -hmm. but. It's good to have that mentality. Like, oh, yo, yeah. I got mad respect oh, for yeah. him, but mad he respect. got something that, that, yeah. that I want. You yeah. know what yeah. I'm saying? It ain't yeah. nothing personal. Yeah, it ain't nothing yeah. personal. You know. He know it. That's my homeboy. That's my boy. I talk, I actually talked to him today. Um, that's my boy. He, you know, answer whenever I need him, sparring and vice versa. You know what I mean? I was supposed to help him out for his 
uh, that Russian guy, he was about to fight for the title. Right. But yeah, you say I was actually around there. Like a lot of fans was trying to say, oh, he faking. He don't want to fight the guy. No, I was there when Caleb messed up his hand. Mm -hmm. Caleb, a real fighter, his hand was really messed up. You know what I mean? Actually, you know, just to go all the way in, um, we had a sparring session scheduled that day. We were supposed to get up that morning. And I was actually packing my bag. And um, Coach Justin hit me up like, yo, you know, we had an injury. Keep it low. We ain't going to tell nobody. They were still going to try to go fight, dude. Well, mm -hmm. hand, you know, but they found out that it was that bad. And they had to pull out or whatever. Shout out to Kick on Kate yeah, Plant, yeah, man. Yeah, but, you know, I'm coming for that defense. And, and, and you know, so I, I said all I had to say, you know, I, I watched him against lesser guys and not be able to hit them a certain way. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, you're not hitting me with that shit, man, with that big, slow shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> so this uh, this being a, a fellow undefeated fighter, 11-0, and 0, though he is, like we said, super middleweight, he is moving down. Is it like a different energy is kind of oh, bringing yeah. that to you now? Oh, yeah, that you sure. definitely that step up? Oh, yeah, like, it's sure. like... This is, sure. real, this is it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That's another thing, like, I always train hard, you know what I mean? But people don't, under, it's a different button when you get up. People don't understand it when you get yeah. up for opponents. Sometimes yeah. you see, like, a, like when we seen um, my man, uh, what's the kid, heavyweight from overseas, Joshua. Joshua, Joshua, yeah. Joshua yeah. he had that stale performance recently against the one guy. Oh, wow, uh, Taco. Taco. Yeah, it was kind yeah. of a stale performance, yeah. right? We yeah. probably ain't get up for the guy. Sometimes yeah. that shit happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? It happens. Definitely. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, that's like, game. That's yeah. what I want to ask you. Like, I'm trying to understand that. Like with like uh, Robert Easter Jr. Whenever he fought Javier Fortuna, mm -hmm. you know, barely barely won that fight. You know, a lot of people think he was given a decision. You know, after the fight. He said that I couldn't get up for this fight because mm, I wanted the Mikey Garcia right. fight. So, oh, wow. yeah. yeah, is there a way you can like elaborate on that? Like, hundred and fifty percent real, man. Yeah. And I went through this a little bit for this fight. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, just being totally honest because, like I said, about two weeks out, I knew that I was going in to fight some killing. So I kind of had him on my mind more so than this fight. You know what I mean? Whatever, whatever. And um, yeah, the, um, the best way I can elaborate on it is my is my position that I'm in. So, like I told y'all, you know, as I'm finding out that the be the better opponent that we was planning on fighting is falling through, and now you're telling me we got to take this guy. Like, it got as bad as maybe having to fight a pro debut MMA guy. That's how bad my last situation went. My coach was like, no, we're not yeah. fucking doing it. You know yeah. what I mean? But that's one of the offers we got. That's how bad it was. And Christy Martin is very adamant about putting on good fights. Right. You know what I mean? So for her to go, have to go there with, for the opponent shows you what we were going through. So it was time, like I said, I didn't go to, I don't, I'm don't. i a gym rat, you know what I mean? But it was a time in camp, you know, where I missed two or three days because of the opponent situation. We're going up, we're going down, we're training yeah. for this person, I'm training for a left hand, I'm training for a right hand. Exactly. So before I know it, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to beat whoever they put in the ring anyway. I'm not running today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm going to the gym, but I'm not going to do X, Y, Z. Where so when you got a real opponent, man, you don't miss nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you no. do everything to the T. To um, elaborate a little bit on that getting up for a fighter, like one of the the, the the clearest examples I saw of it personally was like in MMA, like in the middle of Anderson Silva's career, like some of the stuff he was doing in the ring, dude. I mean, he was just like playing around and it was because he wasn't being tested, you know, mm -hmm. he wasn't getting up for fighters, you know, and if a fighter is not triggering that fire in you, mm -hmm. then it seemed like it would be hard to, it's like anything, mm -hmm. you know. You need motivation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. if a guy's not... Yeah, when you kind of hit that plateau, yeah. it's like you can do second nature. Yeah, you know you everything know is second nature. Exactly. You don't have that guy to exactly. stand on your ass anybody keeping you sharp. put me in around here just yeah. by sparring alone, I'll kill. just from the sparring I'm used to getting, I'll kill these guys. Right. Exactly, yeah. I, mean, I don't have to, you know, so with this dude, you know, I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing a lot different because he's bigger, you know what I mean? So I'm um, focusing more on strength than I do, you know what I mean? And honestly... Um, so what you doing? Weightlifting? I mean, you doing? I always weightlift, but I put a little bit more. I'm putting a little bit more on the bar. Um, last camp, I was still strengthening my shoulder. Up. My shoulder wasn't even. I, be honest, when I took that Joey All Day fight, that's why I was so pissed off at him and these fighters pulling out. Like I was coming off a horrible shoulder, not yeah. no normal injury. I was coming off a horrible injury. And quite as kept, I was still fucking injured when I signed to fight yeah. a guy with 300 amateur fights. You right. know what I mean? That's eight and zero like me, and then he pull out over a fucking rinky dinky injury. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I signed injured to yeah. fight you. Yeah, you, you know signed what I mean? right. I'm like they say, guys always got something going always on. You never exactly. hundred percent tweak you know? a ache exactly. or something. Exactly. You know, and I, you know, I, I got that spirit. So you know, going back, like I could easily. I just started feeling um, 
about 100 percent probably about two weeks ago you know what i mean so i could easily be saying oh i'm just not coming back now let's get ready for a fight you know what I mean? But I just went through, honestly, one of the toughest camps I had in um, Vegas with Jay Lee I Love. I'm so surprised he fought like that because that's not what was going on in the gym. But I just came out one of the toughest camps I had and nobody knew. I was injured the whole fucking camp. Right. Mm -hmm. Jay Lee, I, Jay Lee, if Jay Lee I listened to this interview, this would be the first time he'd be like, oh, huh? you was yeah. injured. Yeah, I was injured. The whole right. camp still fighting my injury, yeah. coming home, Epson saw him back and praying. I wake up the next morning and I felt better. You know what I mean? But... You know, That's right. so I'm just now really fully, fully coming back too, you know, but I performed in Vegas fine, you know, even with the injury, it was, it was it's more so, it was more so after the effects. I might spar and just be sore all fucking night. Right. But when yeah. I'm in the ring, I was, you know, I was Push fine. Through it. Yeah, exactly. through it. You know, I've been doing yoga and stuff like that to stretch. So gotcha. if it wasn't more like a re-injuring feeling, it was just, mm -hmm. just sore, you know what I mean? Yeah. Probably wasn't ready. You know, for the uh, extent of stuff we do as fighters, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was cool to get that camp out the way because um, accumulation of training is is big. You know what I mean? Not to go into a big fight like this. What you mean? Is bad or was it was not overtraining? No, no, never overtrained. But mm -hmm. when you go from camp to camp, you can tell the difference. So basically, what I'm saying, like last camp, coming off that injury, it was like I was starting over again. Okay. Oh, you know what okay. I mean? So yeah. going into this camp is just like, no, I'm just building on Yeah, you're just camp. going straight through. You're not, yeah, exactly. I got you. I'm I got just you. building I got on. You. So now yeah. I'm getting stronger. Gotcha. First, so I was just trying to get stronger. Get back. Yeah, yeah get back. Camp. Now I gotcha. feel myself getting stronger. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we just going to put on a couple pounds. I'm walking around about 163 right now. I don't want to walk around about, by the time the fight come about 68, you know, I just want to mm -hmm. have something to rehydrate. Too, you know what yeah. I mean when I get mm -hmm. in the ring. But I also fought, you know, in the amateurs I fought sixty five. Yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of times took, you know, it's eight pounds up, eight pounds down in the amateurs. So a lot of times that show bouts because I was always a little 65. Yeah. I was one of the guys who was too big for 52 in the amateurs, but too small, for, not too small, but small for 65. Because gotcha. on a good day, I'd be 59. My opponent would be 65 making weight. Easy. You know what I mean? So he go back to 170 and I'm not going back to anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Where it was times where I might be 64, 65 and at a show bout, my opponent 172, 173. You know? So I've been in there with big guys my whole career most 54s don't like sparring with me so I'm always sparring 60 68 and up you know what I mean I've stopped heavyweights in the gym I'm a puncher you mm. know what I mean plus I'm so aggressive that's what we're here, so yeah. it's like you know dude I, like yeah. they, I think they really banking on me being yeah. small and they gonna get a rude awakening yeah. see me he gonna yeah. be yeah. this motherfucker is yeah. small you know what I mean yeah. so, well let me ask you this too like yeah. since you bring that up um how important is it for you to like stay in shape just year round like cause I notice every time we see you Every time we see you online, you know, you're always looking yeah. cut real, like, you, you know, you stay physically, you know, in good physical shape. Like, yeah. how important is that for you, like, to keep that shape just outside of training camps, too? That's everything, man. It's mm -hmm. everything. It's a lifestyle. You got to, you know, mm -hmm. it's a lifestyle. Like, I had posted um, a couple of days ago, you know, four, I was on the road. I just posted, you know, a quick video of me running. I'm like, four days later, you know what I mean? I just want to mm -hmm. fight, you know what I mean? Four days later, we right, right back on the road. And I do stuff like that for the young boys. You know what I mean? Yeah, I motivate think, yeah. Yeah. motivate I think show. Oh, you just came off a win. It's time to chill. Like, no, uh, no, nah, never. You know it's grind like, time, right? It's grind time. Yeah. I'm right back on the road. Time to get it. So, yeah, staying in shape is big, but you got to let your body rest is big, too, though. Mm -hmm. Rest yeah. is big, too. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Rest is big. Rest is big. So, it's about finding that balance, just like anything else in life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, shoot, uh, September uh, 28th, what can we expect, man, at night, man? The most dangerous, dangerous Donnie you've seen, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I really got a, I got a great camp plan. I'm, I'm going to be working with um, New Strength and Conditioning um, in Phoenix. Um, I'm, I'm camping out of Phoenix, too. I'm okay. not camping out of Vegas. We're going to be in Phoenix. Got you. What's oh, that? I ask you a question real quick. That, that that cryo chamber. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does that feel like, my mother? <laughs> the first time I went here in Vegas, that shit was like hell. I was mm -hmm. like, yo, give me the. F is it hot? Is it cold? No, no, it's cold. cold. It's super cold. Okay. Yeah, it's super cold. You know, it's super. Cold. Like I know it was was like dry ice okay. or whatever, but I was wondering, is it hot to the skin? You know, uh, how yeah, you feeling cold, cold in there? Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's, I said, look at my boy up, up in the cryo chamber. <laughs> I did that joint in Vegas. 
Probably about a year ago, man. So that's what that was in no, Vegas? No, no, no. That one was here. In Raleigh. Okay. Yeah, I got, a, oh, okay. I got a spot called Living Well Balanced here in Raleigh. They real good. They got stretching classes, massage therapy, cryotherapy. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, and let people know, you know, all that's part spot. of Oh yeah, that's everything, man. Healing up the body, man, let know Coming off this cool. injury, man, I'm not playing. You know, that's some of the worst pain I ever been through in my life. You know, and I got a bullet in me. You know what I mean? Yeah. When I was a kid, you know what mm-hmm. I mean. So that was that was some of the worst pain I ever felt. You know, going through that injury and pushing it so far, I had all that nerve damage. You know what I mean? So that shit hurt it. You know, so I'm just very conscious, man. You know, because yeah. it was a self inflicted injury. Because I honestly, as strong as I was getting. And, you know, as much work as I was doing, I wasn't stretching properly. I wasn't healing my body like I should. You know what I mean? So yeah. that was a very big learning lesson. Some process so to it. Yeah, that's, man. That's, you know, that's very big, man. Mm-hmm. Make sure, you know, you're doing your stretching and you're eating, you know, properly. And you're getting your maintenance, you know. Your body yeah, is mm-hmm. your money, you know. And mm-hmm. I understood it, but I didn't, you know. I, now you it, really, it, really get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, as a fighter, <laughs> this, this is how you playing. make money. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Ain't no team. It right. ain't like, oh, LeBron right. got my, no, it's all it's on you. Your body's your money, Right, yeah. money, so I've been on my yoga. You know what I mean. I'm yogaing a few times a week. And hot yoga. Yeah, you know what? I haven't got a chance to get to the hot yoga yet, but I'm 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 uh, um I'm gonna try to get to that when I'm in Phoenix. My um homegirl Miss Michelle Rosado, she in Phoenix. She do a lot of um hot yoga, so I'll probably right. try. Well, to let me know. Her. Let me know how that work out for yeah. you because I've been. People, I'm in the I'm, sauna a lot though. Yeah, I'm in the sauna in the steam room a lot, and I do a lot of stretching in the sauna. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Stretches that I actually got through yoga that I just turned into regular stretching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. So I'll you know that's one thing that's mandatory for me now after I finish my workouts. So I go do my weight lifting and my running at the gym I gotta get in the sun and I gotta do my stretching you know what I mean which I never I mean like did. almost never did man yeah. just being honest you know so and I wasn't even performing you know how good I you know if you're not stretching properly yeah, then you 100%. can't perform absolutely you know absolutely I mean? and then you know getting a little older Donnie the body exactly. changes you do you know you gotta exactly. change with the time exactly. yeah, yeah. Exactly. you know you ain't 20 you ain't 18 yeah. no more yeah. you bounce you back help it out a bit. yeah you gotta help, help it out, it out a little bit, bit. so I mean yeah. it's just yeah 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 Shoot! Before we jump on into some of this other boxing talk, I was anything else you want to talk about that's going on with you right now? Not really. Like I was saying, um, just uh, I was talking about my camp going into Phoenix. Um, Mm -hmm. I normally train uh, solely out of Las Vegas with my guys, and I built up a rapport with doing Mm -hmm. guys there. But I'm gonna go to Phoenix. Um, I got uh, my cousin Nate in Phoenix, who's more like a brother. So that, I'm gonna stay at his house. That's gonna kind of cut costs. People don't oh, understand yeah. how expensive oh, yeah. oh, getting good yeah. is too. Oh, That's why yeah, I got a guy yeah. to travel, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I have, I've been blessed to have certain sponsors behind me. Um, shout out uh, Robert's Law Group, Robert's Law Team dot com. They help me out a lot. Um, and uh, Hustle Hands, man. Shout out Hustle Hands too. Um, my last camp would have really fell through, you know, if it wasn't for those guys. But so we cutting costs this camp. We gonna be in Phoenix, but I think it'd be a better camp because um, a lot of times when I'm in Vegas, I'm more so the sparring partner because mm-hmm. you know all the I'm around so many gaudy names right. and the big guy. So this camp we gonna focus. It's gonna be focused on Dangerous Donnie. So we grab the sparring partners and there you, go. you know what I mean. We bring the sparring partners in. So. It's gonna be cool. Like I said, I'm we getting with um we got two or three perspectives for um strength and conditioning, which you, I don't know if y'all know, but Phoenix is kind of like the hub yeah. for yeah, strength for and conditioning oh, okay. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Phoenix is wonderful just for the body alone. They mm-hmm. see a lot of the Phoenix Suns never get injured. Yeah. You know what I mean? And certain um practices they have, you know, for injury prevention and stuff like that in the Phoenix area. So, you know, we're looking at two or three different spots for strength and conditioning. So that's new. We adding that. Um, it's going to be dope, man. It's going to be dope. But I'm still going to shoot the Phoenix. I'm in Vegas. Vegas, uh, four and a half hours away. Yeah. So I'll shoot out there and get some work in with my guys there. I got a few guys lined up that actually inspire with my guy, too. I got, I ain't going to say on air, but I got a few words back yeah. about old dude. You know what I mean? So a couple of my big dogs down there they waiting for me so they can talk me through some things that they feel I need to do good. Sure. sounds we good we gonna go to his backyard too we gonna go to Cali cause you know he trained out of um, LA so we gonna go to Cali too and that's why mm-hmm. Phoenix was kind of perfect cause I can hit Cali in, right there. in Vegas you know what I mean on the weekend and not be stressed about it so also going into um, somebody else's backyard like that, what type of mind frame does that put you in as a fighter? Like dog, you gotta go in there, dog. I can't go in there yeah. backing up. I can't yeah. go in there. Try, you know what I mean? I gotta go in mm-hmm. there and make it look like I'm the boss. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's just the bottom line. You know, 
I don't know what type of fan base he has. You know, it's a blessing too. I already got phone calls. It looks like I'm gonna have about 20 people out there. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, going all the way to the other coast. You know, we going damn near coast to coast. Being in Raleigh, yeah. you don't yeah. know we damn near on the coast. So we going fire as hell to go fight yeah. this dude. You know what I mean? And it was been surprising but the um, responses I've had to people that's like, yo, I'm booking my flight right now. We that's getting some tickets. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to be ringside. Shout out to my homeboy uh, West Side Gun, um, who owns Griselda Records, signed by Benny. He coming out. They gonna be first row. You know what I mean? They um major record signed recording artists. They gonna be first Same, row. Yeah, putting some stuff out. Record. You know what I mean? So that's, that's gonna be dope to have that have that energy in there. You know, that's so. what's up, man. But we going in there to take it. I got to take it. You, got you know to. what I mean? Yeah. I gotta, and I yeah. have had the comfortability of being at home, the luxury of sitting in the armory somewhere where I'm five and only six and oh, and yeah. all the, um, when I walk up, I don't even need an ID because right. the all, you know, everybody know me. you. I'm yeah, the guy. Everybody you know, know you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the yeah. commission here greets me. You know yeah. what I mean? They greet me crazy. And, you know, even the guys that's working in the, you know, I know everybody. So it's going to be a way, a whole different experience. You know yeah. what I mean? But I'm prepared. That's why I took trips by myself. Yeah. Got that's to. why yeah. I went. Got yeah. to. My coach and them, um, backstories, people don't know. You know, my coach, you don't never go away to Spire. Caleb Plant by yourself. You always have, you know what I mean? You don't go, never go. But how me being the person I am, oh, you can't make it? All right, cool. I'll see you later. I'll I be in the yeah. And that's the type of mindset that I got. You know what I mean? So this is really just, you know, this is just kind of waking da- the real dangers down here. This is just really yeah. waking yeah. the real me up. You know what I mean? Because like what you just said there, going by yourself, because once you get in that ring, who is it? Oh, yeah, exactly. By yourself. At the end of the day. Oh, it's right? I you can hear all your voice day. a little bit, but I got to do what I <laughs> Gotta do. Yeah, it's, your, it's all it's all your mental. Don't get me wrong, I, I'm a whole different fighter when Ross is around. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, I, I'm a whole like literally, I'm night and day, night and fucking day when I'm around. It's something about him that brings out another side of me. You know what I mean? Mm, but yeah. like I said before, he my dad in boxing, so I'm just like when I'm in the ring, I'm always looking to impress him. Like I'm fighting. Cause he is hard. I don't, that's get, deep. I don't. I don't get too many. Oh shit, that was good. Yeah, that's deep. Damn, yeah. that shit don't fucking come easy for my coach. You know yeah. what I mean? So I'm always in the ring, looking, looking back, like was that? Right. <laughs> How was, was that, that good enough? Right. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Which I'm is great for me, cause that's the type of person I am. I respond to pushes. Yeah. You know, he's more of a mental coach than a trainer. You know yeah. what I mean? He get mm-hmm. in my brain. That's why sometimes I don't need him around, cause I can hear him. You know what I mean? Facts. Hear him. You know what I mean? Facts. So, that's dope. Yeah, yeah we going in this backyard. We gonna go take it like lunch money. We gonna go get. We gonna shoot. go be the bully. That sounds good, man. That's how you got to do, man. But shoot, we excited for you, man. We wish you nothing but the best out there, man. Yeah, but um, it. let's talk about some of this boxing going on today, man. Next yeah. month, uh, Canelo Triple G yeah, rematch. Yeah. What you thinking, man? I'm be honest, bro. I'm so wrapped up in, in dangerous Donnie's world, man. Yeah. I be I keep forgetting about shit forget like that. that yeah. Yeah. I you really I'm gonna be honest, just at mm-hmm. this point, you know what I'm saying? That's how you supposed like, to be though, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm I'm wrapped up. Yeah, that laser yeah. focus right yeah. now. I'm, yeah. I'm wrapped up. I'm wrapped up, man. So I I, I, I be forgetting, you know what I mean, that mm-hmm. those fights is coming up. But I'm excited, you know, I'm a big Canelo fan. You know what I mean? So I wanna see um I want to see what he going to do. I, you know, I'm watching his film, kind of a little bit of his film from the first Triple G fight because I'm going to fight the bigger man too. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm watching. This 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 uh, camp has been all about, and that's just how I get down. You know what I mean? Whatever to make up. If I do more film study that way than mm-hmm. I do watching my guy. Absolutely. Because it's about what I need to do. Right. If I do right. what I need to do, I ain't got to worry about you. So every time we got a game plan, I go to fights that I know that fighter had to use that game plan to win. You know right. I mean, like, you know, the biggest thing we taking into this fight is James Tony Iran Barkley. Bigger mm-hmm. man, big 168, yeah, 60, man. coming yeah. from 68. He's so big. Remember George Foreman, the whole fight? Oh, my God, he's so big. He's so strong. Yeah, Don't let him win. You know, your whole fucking fight. James kicked his ass from post yes. to post. Yeah. But eight rounds, nine yeah. rounds, and the man still swore yeah. that Iran was going to win. You know what yeah. I mean? So that's one of the biggest... Um, biggest examples that I'm taking into this fight because I know y'all don't watch me. I'm very good in the inside. I can stay in there with him and he won't let a glove on me. So I've been watching that, watching Canelo fighting the bigger Triple G. I don't like the way Canelo moved in that fight. You know, I think he should have relied more on his defense. Mm-hmm. I think he moved his feet a little too much and I think that kind of caused him to lose a few rounds that he didn't have to lose. You know, so I think if he would have stayed in there and just relied more on the on the, the upper the body upper movement body. Yeah. instead of you know running away with his feet sometime I think he could have fully pulled that fight out 
So I'm watching, but I'm watching for other intangibles in that fight, mm -hmm. things that he didn't do. I like, you know, that's who a, a guy like me, like I, I always watch in between the lines. People don't understand it's so, you win fights in between the lines. It ain't mm -hmm. just punches thrown and punches landed. Sometimes right. there's a small step that you didn't see. You know what I mean? It's a small step to the left that he kept doing and you're wondering why a guy not landing a blow. Mm -hmm. Small stuff like that and I'm watching for guys while they fighting bigger men, you know what I mean? Watching Floyd fight um, Diego Corrales. You know what I mean? mm -hmm. Fights like that, you know what I mean? If you so, ever look at like, uh, Devin Alexander, people think you know he's right in there, mm -hmm. but they still missing him. You know mm -hmm. he's just taking those mm -hmm. little subtle, subtle moves. Subtle yeah. 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 yeah, so, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited yeah. for the for that um, number two coming up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm definitely excited. I'm a big Canelo fan. I like. I'm not a. I wouldn't say I'm a Triple G fan, but I like Triple G. You know what I mean? So I'm excited about it. I'm always excited for good fights. It just haven't been on my mind. Got you. Well, that's good. That, that shows where your yeah, mind focus, is. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah and then who, what we got done? The Porter and the, um, yeah, first week of uh, September we yeah, got September, Porter Garcia. Yeah, Porter Garcia, yeah. that's exciting. I'm excited about that because I was actually in the building the night they got into it. I was oh really? Oh, okay. Danny Garcia's last fight um, in Vegas. And when he oh, he came up in the ring, ring in there. Yeah, when Sean Porter came uh, in the ring, I was okay. there that night. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be dope to watch them fight. Um, I like. I'm a, I'm a Danny Garcia fan. I don't really like Sean Porter too much, but I think Sean Porter probably gonna pull that out, man. Yeah. I don't think Danny active enough, man, to deal with Sean Porter. Sean Porter's yeah. not gonna get tired, and he's gonna keep. Be a pit bull. Yeah, he's, he's gonna, gonna get yeah, He ain't far no he's dogs like coming. that. Yeah. Be a pit bull, man. You know what I have mean? really had him losing the Brandon Rios fight, and to be honest, until he landed that shot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Until oh, yeah. so he caught that. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. yeah. But, but. You know, Porter ain't that easy to hit cleanly like that. Huh? I'm looking forward to that one. Sounds good, man. But uh, before we roll out of here, too, man, uh, go ahead and hit everybody with your social media where they can hit you up at, man. Um, I'm, um, on Instagram, I'm uh, dangerous underscore Donnie. Dangerous underscore Donnie. And then on uh, Facebook, I got fucking a million friends. But on Facebook, I'm Donnie Marshall. If I got too many friends, you can just uh, go to my like page, um, Dangerous Donnie Marshall on Facebook. So that's uh, dangerous underscore Donnie on um, Instagram and um Donnie Marshall or Dangerous Donnie Marshall on Facebook, man. I got stuff on YouTube and all that. Y'all hit me up. Shout out. I answer back all uh, inboxes and DMs. I've been getting a lot of, um, starting to realize how big my fan base is getting. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm even getting, um, messages and stuff from overseas now. You know what don't, I mean? Guys don't. hitting me up and don't. wanting to talk boxing and stuff. So I answer back to everybody. You know, I'm a real friendly guy. So y'all hit me up, man. Talk boxing or Give me your critiques or whatever it is, you know. Tell me how much you like and love my style. You no, know, look forward, look oh, forward yeah. to uh, putting on the show for everybody September 28th, man. Oh yeah, Give definitely, definitely, man. We pushing for you, man. And again, Donnie, it's good to have you on the show, man. We appreciate you coming through again. Appreciate Any other questions for future uh, champion? No, that's it, man. Just um, like I say, appreciate you being on again. You know, like you say, you went out, guys. So you know, the yeah. platform will always open to you, no man. Doubt, so, no um, doubt. No doubt. We gonna come on a uh, national uh, prospect head to a contender after yeah. this fight. We, we, we trying to ride it with you, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. It. We coming back on uh, a national prospect to a contender. You know, two, three good fights like this, man. And we they gonna have to start lining up my world title shot. You know? Yeah. That's what's up. Yes, sir. Yeah, definitely, man. So um, yeah, we about to wrap this thing up but before we go make sure you follow us on itunes google play and soundcloud stitcher.com you can follow us at the jab effect on facebook instagram and twitter like i always say before we bounce my name is combo breaker 99 it's your boy boxing p dangerous donnie marshall highlight me right. yes, peace sir. peace